And good evening and welcome to the Ball Game Blitz TV Sports Network produced by Worthy Road Studios on the Jackson Christian Facebook page. This is a copyright broadcast and the first hitter for TCA. They'll be the visitors at their own field. They were the home team in the first game. And the first pitch is a curveball. This is Owen Atwood. He'll be playing shortstop tonight. He'll be followed by Nick Jones wearing number seven who will be at third base. This one way outside. Carter Ellis on the mound for the Jackson Christian Eagles. And we will give you the lineup here in just a second as we got a late start. Here's the pitch, and it hit him, and so the first batter is on. In the previous game, Jackson Christian won. They scored early. Now batting number seven, Nick Jones. Batting is Nick Jones, the third baseman. He wears number seven. Nick's a senior. Right-handed hitter. Green at first, Cooper at second. Kelly at third, Creasy, or actually Kelly is back at short for this game. On the ground, let's see, it's going to be a slow roller. They'll have to go to first to get one, the stretch, and uh, one away. Kelly comes up on the slow roller. The runner advances on the fielder's choice. Now batting number six, one out. Harrison Vance. And Harrison Vance advances to the plate. He's pitching in this contest. Where's number six? Vance also a senior. Runner at second from the stretch. Ellis swinging and a miss, and Ellis has a pretty good curveball. Fastball has some movement to it. We've had a lot of rain tonight. Flag is blowing towards left center field, and it is standing almost straight out. Runner at second with a one-strike count. Here's the pitch. Low, and Eli Smith comes up with that one. One ball, one strike, one out, a runner at second. Outfield straight away. Infield at normal depth, not expecting a bunt. Slightly open stance by the hitter, hitter Harrison Vance. Like we said, he'll be pitching tonight. Outside, takes the count to 2-1 on deck. Max Richardson, who's playing first base. Max wears a good number, number five. Johnny Bench, Joe DiMaggio, Joe Holloway. Just teasing with that one. I did wear that, but I'm not in that company. A slightly open stance. Hitter will stride towards the plate. Pitch a little inside. It was a nice pitch, but it was inside, and that'll run the count to 3-1 with only one out in the inning. Ellis has a variety of breaking balls. The curve is his best pitch. Sometimes he drops three-quarter. Here's the pitch. Swung on, fouled off, and it'll be 3-2. Max Richardson, the cleanup hitter. And, of course, the fifth hitter, we didn't get to announce the starting lineups as it took a little longer than usual to get in due to some unfortunate circumstances. And, like I said, rain and a lot of help out of the TCA press box here. The gentleman to my right, excellent help, great announcing, and they do a good job over there. Fouled off, hanging tough. Slice looks like a golf shot when you slice it. So it remains 3-2 with one out. The runner at second is Owen Atwood. There are two Atwoods in the lineup. Zane Atwood is hitting ninth tonight. Got out in front of that one. Coach tried to jump out and catch it, but uh, it was by in a hurry. Harrison Vance got all of that one just out in front of it. You want to get out but you want to extend those arms, and that's tough when they bring it inside on a right-hand hitter. 3-2 pitch at the belt, checking the runner to the plate. Swinging strike, that was the breaking ball for the second out. First strikeout by Ellis. 
Now batting number five, Max Richardson. Max Richardson up there, and like I said, uh, I kind of like that number that he's wearing. The entire infield and the catcher go out to talk to Ellis. There are, are two outs in the inning. That runner is still at second, and the umpire is going to go out and say, gentlemen, we can't be discussing girls' phone numbers or where we're going to eat after the game, and most of the places in Jackson will be closed up. It is 838. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, for tonight or before 12 o'clock, all the rain has passed by here. like Kelly at short will play normal. If anybody holds the runner on, it will be Reed Cooper will dash over there. A variety of pants link on the players. That one high gets away, and the runner will advance. And I'm probably going to have to score that one a pass ball. So a runner in scoring position, error hit, pass ball, wild pitch, gets him home. And again, that is Atwood at third base, but there's two outs, so everybody will play at normal depth. Max Richardson at the plate, waiting for the one ball pitch. It's low, and Eli Smith, again, another dandy job by him. Smith, a fine young sophomore catcher. TCA, he's got a good catcher also. We want to give both these young men credit. Fouled off. And that's John Brooks who does a great job for them catching. And uh, those two young men have earned their keep already. Mom and Daddy needs to buy them something extra, big old steak or something, because they are, they are catching two games in uh, unusual conditions. Here's the pitch. Outside he gets away and TCA will get a run. The backstop, for those of you familiar with Jackson Christian, is a little deeper over here, and the ball doesn't always bounce back instantly to you. That pitch will have to be scored a wild pitch. Three balls, no strikes with two outs. Max Richardson trying to get his way on to first. Harry Smith on deck. And walked him. And the late Daisy yeah, Dean would say, oh, those Harris. bases on ball. Yeah. Harry Smith wears number 16. He will be playing second base tonight. Ellis really focusing in on the plate. The pitch. That one is right down Main Street for a strike. We'll try to check our stats a little bit. And we'll see what some of these young men did in that first game. That's a base hit. Oh, I was too early with that one. Austin Kelly goes up like a rebounder and pulls it down. What a job by Kelly on that one. And there was one run. Oh, no hits. One man was left on base, and the score at the end of a half inning of play, TCA won. Jackson Christian coming to bat. Let's take a timeout on the Ball Game Blitz Jackson Christian Facebook Network. Legends never die. But your AC unit might. Routine maintenance and repair by McCoy's Heating and Air now will keep your system running at full capacity and potentially avoid costlier repairs and downtime when you need your AC the most. Our York certified and trained technicians are the best in the game. Go home to comfort with spring maintenance from McCoy's Heating and Air. The bonus cash extravaganza is underway right now at Carlock Nissan in Jackson. In addition to dealer discounts, get another 750 bonus cash on Nissan Sentra, another 750 bonus cash on Nissan Altima, an additional $1,000 bonus cash on Nissan Pathfinder, and $1,250 on Nissan Frontier. Plus, rates as low as 0% and 3.9 for 84 months. The bonus cash extravaganza underway right now at Carlock Nissan. Van Drive, Jackson. We are back here at TCA's beautiful stadium. The flag blowing straight out. We've had a lot of rain earlier tonight. Had a delay. Jackson Christian won the first game 8-1. to one. 
But when we reverse tonight in this nightcap, TCA is the visitors. Jackson Christian, the home team. With a one to nothing lead, and Chris is the, the man. Now batting number five, Reed Cooper. Reed Cooper, the second baseman. He's a junior, comes up there, slightly open stance. He'll almost on the edge of where the box would be. Nice pitch for strike one. As we told you, Harrison Vance on the mound in this contest. He's a senior. That one just missing. Umpire in the first game was Charlie Hill. Did a great job. This young man looks like he's going to do a good job, too. Pitch fouled off. Will it stay fair? It keeps drifting, drifting, and it's fouled. Nice chase by the right fielder, Perry. Young man that is committed to Belmont, and I guess I need to check with my astute friends to the right. Has he signed yet? I know he's committed. He has signed, they told me. Uh, the young man will love playing it there. He's a good pitcher, even though he had a little tough look in that first game. He's a very good pitcher. Can play a mean outfield, too. Here's Vance's pitch. Curveball fouled away. Reed Cooper did everything you could to hit. He was trying to take that breaking ball to right field, which is a good thing to do, just a little behind it. One ball, two strikes. The leadoff man up there, and this will even the count. And they're going to ask, and I don't think uh, he offered it that one. Here's the pitch. Low, and that will load uh, the count up at 3-2, no outs. Leadoff man wanting to get on very badly. Cooper was one for five in that first game. Here's one drill towards the second baseman, the big hop. Crow hop pulled the man off the bag. And we will have to see how they score. That was probably going to be an error by pulling him off the bag like that. But I am not scoring this game officially. Anything I do is unofficial. But the important thing for Jackson Christian is Reed Cooper's on first with the left-handed hitting J.T. Mullins coming up there. He number wears seven, number seven. Mullins. Mullins a very good hitter in that two spot. Also with him batting left-handed, he can bunt. That one outside, catcher, did a great job of getting out there, and he came up ready to shoot the runner down. About one more step and there probably would have been a peg. Third baseman in three steps on the grass. First baseman holding on short and seconds playing for a double play. That one outside. Brooks, you used to call it yanking the mitt, but uh, trying to frame the pitch with a little movement, and that's what a good catcher does. I got caught doing it a bunch of times, but I got away with it a bunch of times and used to play uh, baseball with a guy named Ken Cry that could do that. There's a nice bunt. It's going to force the third baseman to pick it up. He comes up. And it looks like it's going to be a base hit. Now, I want you all to go back when you watch the strategy and see the catcher, Brooks, continue all the way down to third base to cover. You've got to have everything set, the play on and all that. That is definitely a hit for Mullins. So JT gets the hit, and that brings up Easton Jones, the center fielder. Easton, a pretty fair football player, too. He can tote the pumpkin, catch the pass, and play defensive back. Easton will be in center field, but he's a right-handed hitter. He's a junior. A little conference on the mound. No outs. Runners at first and second. That's Cooper at second. Mullins with a dandy bunt down the third baseline. And that's you got to make that third baseman feel that one. And like I said, go back and watch his film and watch the catcher go down and cover third base, or the runner could have advanced. Curveball and got it. That's a dandy one right there. Kept it inside. It broke a little late. Don't know. Don't want to call it a slider because it broke more like a curveball, but it could have been. The hitter is Easton Jones, the number three hitter for Jackson Christian with that big open stance. This time he's going to draw rain if there's any left up there. It's a high foul ball, and it is dropped or missed over there, so he'll come back and do it again. It'll count as a strike. I'm hoping he doesn't hit one of those clouds when he hits one like that because that'd be bad. We don't need any more rain. 
They got the tarp on quick. The infield looks like it's in great shape, hopefully. And they squeegeed the outfield, used a couple of brushes and a squeegee on it. And hopefully there's no spot standing anywhere. If there was, it'd be close to the fence. 0-2 pitch ready to come with runners at first and second. Swinging strike three, and Easton Jones is the first strikeout and first out of this inning. Now batting number 21, Carson Holt. Vance picks up his first. Carson Holt had a big shot. Matter of fact, it might have been the shot of the game. It was a home run. And lately, he has been on a little bit of a home run binge. If you all remember, Peabody wishes they had that pitch back last week. Carson playing with a lot of injuries, though. You have to admire the young man. Good pitch right there. The breaking ball comes inside, ties the hands up of the left-handed hitter. You know that Ted Williams talked about throwing pitches down at the knees and on that inside black part of the plate, there's a little strip of black all the way around the plate to help the umpire. That breaking ball started breaking too early and stayed outside. One and one the count, two runners on. The very strong and dangerous Carson Holt up there. He's just a junior also. Holt the DH. Well, he's actually a senior this year. I want to keep him another year. His sister Carly plays softball. Boy, that one was close. Borderline pitch. Have to defer to the umpire. He's got the best look in the house. Carson is a senior. He is probably going to Northwest Mississippi Junior College. Uh, there are other people talking to him. Carly, his sister, the junior. That's a nice one. Painted that outside edge with that curveball. It came in just perfect. Two balls, two strikes, one out, two runners on. Cooper would like to get home from second base. Vance takes a long look at him. Looks a second time. Comes to the plate. Ground ball. It could be a two ball. And it's booted. One run will streak towards the plate. Another runner headed to third. And the peg is just offline a little bit. And we've got a tie ball game. Score that E4. Holt now at first. Taking off. And he's going to wind up after this week as soon as he gets here wearing two pieces of protective gear. Zach Creasy, who has home run power, although this is a big field to hit one in right here. They do go out. A little friendlier confines, shorter fences in some area. Here's one in the ground. Get there, get the big hop, pull. Okay, they're going to say that uh, he was in the area and tagged the base. And... Uh, That'll be a fielder's choice. And the out is at second. That'll get a hold. Go 6-4 for the second out of the inning. Creasy is on first. That brings up Daniel Green wearing 16. The big first baseman has signed with UTC. He'll play tight end, and I guarantee you he'll get some playing time as a freshman next year. Vance steps back, probably a good move. Harrison Vance on the mound. Green, the first baseman, stays in the box. Balance stance is going to hit him. And the, uh, the, okay, they say he didn't make an effort to get out of the way of it. Interesting. He bent down. Oh, it hit the bat first, they say. Okay, I, that I didn't see. And Jace is going to ask about it. And that's what you do, but it looks like a polite conversation. They're not even talking Shakespeare. They're probably saying, you know what, after the ball game, let's get a milkshake from one of the places around here. Good exchange by both guys, good sportsmanship. And so Green now, instead of going to first, is in the hole 0-1. Has that balance stance a little bit towards the front of the plate for a big man. Here's one hit to right field. It's going to hang up, though, and the right fielder should handle it. And that will end the inning. But it was a big inning for Jackson Christian as we're still awaiting the scoring, and I'm going to check it. 
And Jackson Christian comes out of this inning leading two to one. Let's take a timeout on the Jackson Christian Ball Game Blitz Network. Why go on vacation when you can live on vacation? Aloha Custom Pools will help you create your very own piece of paradise and you can enjoy it every day. What are you waiting for? Take the plunge. Call Aloha Custom Pools or visit us online. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Back at TCA, where TCA is the visitor in the second game after losing in the first game. Well, remind you, this is a copyright broadcast of Worthy Road Studios for 2024. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, editing, or further use of this ball game blitz broadcast without the express written consent of Worthy Road Studios is strictly prohibited. I'm Coach Joe Holloway doing the announcing tonight, and we had a dandy first ball game. Both teams played hard. The rain uh, played a little part in it. And we'll tell you more about that one as Carter Ellis warms up. Leading off will be Andrew Perry. He's in right field Leading in this game. The the second. Number 13, There's number Andrew 13. Perry. He'll be followed by Quarles and Brooks. We'll tell you more about those young men. But here's number 13. He must not be superstitious as I am. I could not wear 13. Some people can, and they think it's good luck for them. Jackson Christian with Ellis on the mound, and he always comes from kind of a stretch position. Drilled into the screen right at the edge of the Jackson Christian dugout, and we'll get to see Chase McLean's arm. Oh, it's a toss. And Chase played on the 2008 state championship team. He also was an assistant coach, yeah, I believe, in 2014 was when the other championship. Some of y'all correct me. I cannot see the text and stuff that you send or the messages on Facebook, and there's a nice pitch for a strike, breaking ball again. And it's 0-2 because I'm using Game Changer, and when you use Game Changer on your phone, you don't go flipping back and forth over to the Facebook. But we are on Jackson Christian's Facebook. That one, the catcher tried to give a little help, but the umpire was wise, and it came across higher than the shoulders. One ball, two strikes. Ellis has thrown 23 pitches. Perry's first time up there, and that one a ball. So it'll be two balls, two strikes, no outs. We're in the top of the second inning. Jackson Christian scored two runs on only one hit. Ellis studies it. He comes to the plate. Swinging strike, and I believe that is his second strikeout. One out in the inning. Now batting number 17, Connor Quarles. Connor Quarles coming to the plate. Quarles playing left field. Here's the pitch. Got it right on that corner. Tough place. The only place you can hit that one is to right field. Quarles is a junior. He'll be back for this fine TCA squad next year. There's the open stance. Just missing a little high, and it was a ball. And when I say that, I'm not disagreeing with the umpire. He was right on then. Outfield straight away. That one is a strike. So Quarles in the hole, one and two with one out, no runners on. John Brooks, the outstanding young catcher. And again, that hustle play down to third base while it go really still sticks in an old catcher's mind. That one is low. Not a worm killer, but it was low. Two and two. Eli Smith, he the two catchers are up there right now, one catching, the other one hitting, and they both have got to feel it. Here's the two two pitch. 
Drilled on the ground to Austin Kelly, the junior shortstop. Crow hop step over to first. Green's got it, and Green has a good reach. Six to three, or is how you score that one. Second out in the inning, bring. Now batting for TCA, number eight, John Brooks. John Brooks is coming up there. John wears number eight, Yogi Berra's old number. John is a sophomore. That one is inside. On deck is Zane Atwood. Zane plays center field. But the catcher, that's one of those that he didn't mean to. He thought he could hold up. They go to first with it. Two to one, catcher to first. And the inning is over. No runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on base. The score at the end of one and one half innings of play. Jackson Christian two, TCA one. Let's take a timeout on the Jackson Christian Facebook and Ball Game Blitz. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. It's the off season, but it's the best season to buy at Aloha Custom Pools. Snag your dream pool now, and we promise you'll be splashing around by Memorial Day. What are you waiting for? Give us a call or visit us at alohacustompools.com. We are back here for the bottom of the second, even though we're at TCA Jackson Christian and the home team. Please remember some of our silver sponsors for the Jackson Christian broadcast that help keep you from having to pay the ridiculous National Federation fee. Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Realty. What a great job Kenny does. Great supporter of Jackson Christian. Give him a call. Great American Sports, Ben Vargas and Wesley Freeman. They've got equipment for everything. They can make uniforms, order uniforms, you name it. They've got footballs, basketball, baseballs, soccer balls. They've got bags. they got everything. Southern Capital Advisors. They can give you some good advice. They can help you out. Great supporters of Jackson Christian. And, of course, David White Body Shop. The announcer in the first game may need the body shop of David White. Unfortunately, I've had that happen to me. I park so far away from here, they have to bust me to the ball game to keep from getting hit. Uh, unfortunately, that does happen to cars, and that's why we've got people like David White. And, of course, you see some great commercials from some of our other one, people. Kelly. Here comes Austin Kelly, the winner in the first game. Austin's a junior. Carson Holt and uh, Daniel Green and Jack Collins, the seniors in the lineup. Most of this lineup see the juniors or sophomores. I think Carter Ellis is also, yes, a senior. Here's one drill towards the first baseman. He'll boot it a little bit, but that's the way you cover first. Any ball hit on the right side of the infield, and it's three to one. Used to, you think about the pitcher to first. Well, this was now first to the pitcher, Jack first Collins. out. Jack Collins, who plays a mean defensive back, but he also plays a little outfield, too, for the Eagles. He's up there. Left-handed hitter, can bunt. He can run, steal your base. Pretty good eye most of the time. All of us, every once in a while, will swing at a bad pitch, but he swings – that one high, where it broke. It's not where it lands in the catcher's mitt. It's where it comes across the plate. Outfield, center fielder, a couple of steps towards right. Right straight away. Left is straight away. This one, he got under it and fouled it off. If Jack were to hit one in the left center field gap, we would be running forever. We could probably organize a Boston Marathon. The senior pitcher, Harrison Vance, though, very tough to hit. He's only given up one hit. Collins asked for a little time to get himself squared away in the batter's box. Two balls, one strike, one out. And 
And this one hit too far to the first base side, hits the fence. There'll be a lot of baseball games and stuff played on Thursday night. I will not be with you Jackson Christian fans as I'm being inducted into the Jackson Madison County Sports Hall of Fame. Won't say much more about that. There's a swinging strike. Catcher will have to throw him out. And there he does. Good pickup by the first baseman. So there are two outs in the inning. Now you score that as a strikeout, but you also give an assist to the catcher and a put out to the first baseman if you're scoring officially. Now adding number 14, Eli Smith. Here comes Eli Smith, the fine catcher. And like I said, we've got two good young catchers. We're going to get to see them for a couple of years. And it'll be interesting to watch their progress and see where they go on to play college baseball. There's a pitch just missing. It was a little low. So it's one ball, no strike. There's two outs in the inning. Reed Cooper on deck. This one foul off the dirt. I don't think it got the foot or you'd be seeing Eli do the hot foot. And that can happen to any of us hitting. I uh, remember the other day against Peabody, Carson Holt got hit by a pitch in that uh, lead foot instead of his back foot. And they'll check, and he's a good call. This umpiring crew hasn't done bad. Now, I know some people may think, well, first game they may have squeezed, but they were consistent if they squeezed the strike zone. Having caught, it was really a normal strike zone. And no, no flies on the umpires. And you see that pitch outside. It's 3-1 on the Jones Chevrolet Blacksmith scoreboard here. We're at TCA, but in this game, the home team is Jackson Christian. And a walk, and that's what Eli wanted to do. Let's see if they send the courtesy runner in for Eli. They may let him run now early, five, especially Reed since. Cooper. Now, here comes the courtesy runner. We'll get him checked in. That is number 12, and I'm going to have to go to my roster for that because they probably won't use Cole Vargason in this game as a runner, but they will put him in defensively. After. That's A.J. Hastings who has started some games. Nice breaking ball. And I started saying nice long before the umpire put the strike zone out there. Watch these some great camera shots. Our camera crew and producer, director, it's been a wonderful night so far. Two long games. Uh, send them a thank you. Here goes the runner. It gets away at A.J. Hastings. I think he had that one standing up anyway. So A.J. is down at second. He's 180 feet away from scoring. Now what Harrison Vance wants to do, he wants to get this out. He would love to strike Reed Cooper out. Reed on with an error. I got the official ruling on it early. Straight away everywhere. Shortstop playing a few games with the runner, and that one is high. Two balls, one strike, two outs, a runner in scoring position. We're in the second inning. Seems strange we're at TCA and we're at the home team, and I'm sure it does for TCA fans too. Vance looks twice, comes to the plate. Hit high up in the air, it's going to get out of play, and either some fans or that squirrel that got messed up with his timing because of the eclipse. We'll catch that one. There was a dog here earlier today. He's pretty good at retrieving foul balls. The only thing is you can't throw spitters anymore. After a dog handles a baseball, you're throwing an illegal pitch with a spitter. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. If there were two runners on, we could say deuce is wild, but you cannot say that because there's only one runner on second, and that is A.J. Hastings. At the plate, hoping to get him in as Reed Cooper, the leadoff man, the junior second baseman. Nice balanced stance. Couple of looks. The 2-2 two -two pitch on the way. Got under it. First baseman says, I'm going to handle this one. Gets it. See a little white, but it's the third out. Fouled off in foul territory and popped up. And no runs that inning for Jackson Christian. And no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. At the end of two innings of play, Jackson Christian 2, 
TCA won. TCA will be coming to bat in the top of the third on the Jackson Christian Ball Game Blitz Network. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor work on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Back with one pitch already thrown. That one a strike to Zane Atwood. That one low for ball. Zane wears number two. He's a junior. That pitch inside. Two balls, one strike. No outs. So two to one scores you see on our great scoreboard. We got great producers, directors, camera people tonight. And that one inside, so it runs it to three one. You don't want to walk the leadoff man. TCA got a very capable hitting lineup. We're in the top of the third. Things moving a little faster than they did in the first game. Rain delay didn't help it any. That one outside. And maybe Carter may have tried to overthrow that one just a hair. And I'm sure he'll go ahead and now the wise young sophomore catcher goes out to give his senior pitcher uh, a little counsel. Settle him down, give him time to think now about it. Number one, Owen Atwood. Owen Atwood. You had Zane up there. Owen would love to advance him. Jones is on deck. Runner at first, no out. Infield at double play depth. Green holding on. Big lead. It's a bunt. And they'll have to go to first with it. Excellent lay down. You count that a sacrifice bunt. Advances the runner. A little small ball here. And boy, if somebody had to read my interpretation. Nick Jones. Nick Jones will come up there with a runner in scoring position and one out. So a nice sacrifice bunt. There's one out in the inning. That one right on the borderline. Umpire's best judgment, probably a strike. He says it was, so I'm not going to argue with him because he's there, I'm not. Jackson Christian in their road grays with the blue trim and numbers. Pickoff move, and if they throw that to the Shortstop side of the bag, you probably had a pickoff. There was a little hesitation, but a good pickoff move in the right play. Let's see if there's any activity. Nick Jones up there. Popped it up sky high. Would have been a homer in a phone booth. Daniel Green catches it for the second out. And I mean, that one went high up there. I just hope nobody hits one high enough for no, rain. Number six, Harrison Vance. Harrison Vance would love to help his own cause. He comes up there 0 for 1. Let's see if we can do a little checking for you now. And we're getting uh, Harrison 
who played first base in the first game was 0 for 3, has an open stance, will stride towards that pitcher. Curveball for a strike. No balls, one strike. That runner will be off with, if you want to say, the ping of the bat or the bang of the aluminum or whatever. Loved it when you have the crack of the bat off a wooden bat, but we play with metal bats. Second baseman playing games with the runner. This one gets away, and the catcher does not know where it is, pitcher, and that is good because Carter must come towards the plate to cover. Probably a wild pitch on that one, and now you've got a runner being Zane at Atwood. Zane is at third base, just 90 feet away from tying this ball game up. Outfield is straight away. Infield at normal depth with two outs. It's high. Deep to left, camping under it is the outfielder, J.T. Mullins, and the sure-handed J.T. puts it away for the third out. There were no runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. At the end of two and one-half innings of play, Jackson Christian two and TCA one. Let's take a timeout on the Jackson Christian Facebook network. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in-store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should offer more than a place to just store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest accounts include the flexibility of a checking account, with tiered interest rates, identity theft protection, cell phone protection, and more. So start a financial conversation with us today by visiting foundationbank.org or calling us on the number at the screen. In the meantime, go Lions! McKenzie Banking Company is an equal housing lender, member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. And we are back here at TCA. Now batting number seven. Jackson Christian coming to bat. And we've got to mark a few lines here. But the number two hitter in the lineup, the junior, J.T. Mullins. And isn't that the way it is? A lot of times the guy that makes the put out to end an inning leads off his half of the inning. Vance's pitch low and bounces off the plate. And the plate does have some spring to it. It's a rubber substance. Wouldn't last that long if it didn't. As many cleats as crosses, many times it gets hit. It gets snowed on, rained on. Just missing. Those pitches are pretty close, but they are missing. Both umpires have done a good job tonight. Drilled, but the second baseman will handle it. Takes it on the small hop over the first. And Mullins is retired after having scored the last time up there. Now adding number 22. Here comes Easton Jones, number 22. He's 0 for 1. Smith did a good job staying down and feeling that one, and I believe I need to probably look at my roster and look, but I believe Smith is a freshman. Open stance here of Jones closing. He got hit. The breaking ball did not break, and uh, I like the way, and this is the way they do it in the majors in college. The umpire walks out there a little bit just to make sure that we don't have any hard feelings, and I don't think there was. He knew, number he knew that the Easton Carson knew that wasn't a purpose pitch. So a hit batsman puts a runner and a speedy runner at first with one out. He'll be held on. It brings up Carson Holt, the designated hitter, who also, when he gets healthy, will be one of the dandy pitchers in this district. This is a big, important district contest for both teams. Jackson Christian's already helped themselves out tonight, but now you got to remember, USJ has already beaten both Jackson Christian and TCA. And I don't know if Tipton Rosemark can help TCA and Jackson Christian. You see a strike thrown there. They're getting better over there, but uh, we have already beaten them twice, and I'd have to look at Jackson or TCA's record. 
Carson hold up there with a 1-1 count. One out in the inning, a runner at first, the runner's going. They're going to throw through. The throw is going to be high and sliding in there with a stolen base is Easton Jones. Jones now in scoring position with one out. And I think I'm going to have to go back and take printing lessons. Ms. Young, my first grade teacher, would be very disappointed with how I printed SB for stolen base in there then. I'm not so sure that my dog or cat at home couldn't have written it better. Two balls, one strike, one out, a runner at second. Harrison Vance is going to check the runner once. Checks him a second time. The shortstop just kind of popping the glove and stuff. That one was going for the downs. If he makes contact, we would still be chasing it. But, you know, if a frog had a hip pocket, he'd tote a gun, carry credit cards, and have money too. No contact on it. Two balls, two strikes, one out. There's a foul ball. And you can still see Carson walking gingerly. And not only has he been hit in the leg with the uh, guard, he's been hit in the back foot. He's had to have surgery on feet. He's a tough young man. Vance wants the strike out here. He's got a 2-2 count with one out. And they've got the runner. I probably call him too early, but I've been around this game too long. So there's two outs now in the inning. And caught stealing is Easton Jones after stealing a base. Good peg by the catcher Brooks. Good tag by the third baseman. And you could see that one coming. So two outs in the inning. No runners on. Carson Holt up there. And it looks like he's going to take his base by walking. Used to be a guy, be a guy that played in the major leagues named Eddie Yost. Now he was known as the walking Zach man. Creasy. Zach Creasy comes up there. And we know that Zach has power. He was on with a fielder's choice, so he's 0 for 1. And that outfield of Perry, Atwood, and Quarles back by now. Perry steps in a step. That one right on that black edge of the plate. Couldn't have thrown it in a better place. Good job by Vance then. Zach says, I'll size that one up. Got to hit it. Vance says, I'm going to step off the mound and throw the next one by you when I get back up there. Runner at first. Not great speed because of injuries right now. When he's healthy, a little more speed. There's one high. Brooks comes up wanting to gun one down to first. Todd Lumley coaching at first. And, of course, Chase McLean, the head coach, at third. That one, the curveball breaking way outside. TCA's head coach is Hayden Hogue. And, of course, Joey Perry helps him. Drill, but the shortstop should handle it. Atwood over to second. And that will be the final inning. Two fielders' choices. No runs, no hits, no errors, one left. Score at the end of three. It's Jackson Christian two. TCA one. Let's take a timeout on the Jackson Christian Blitz Network. No matter where you are, You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. We are back here. 
Don't forget our silver sponsors at Jackson Christian. Jackson Christian silver sponsors are Kenny Sutherland with the Five Star Realty, Great American Sports, Southern Capital Advisors, David White Body Shop. Here's Ellis' first pitch outside. The hitter is Max Richardson, the sophomore. He's 0 for 0. Walked his first time up. Was left stranded. Looks like he's working on a second walk with a two ball, no strike count. Ellis has thrown 44 pitches so far. High into the sky. Drifting back, Easton Jones thumps the mid. He's got it for the first out. So a long, noisy fly ball to the center fielder. One away, and that brings up freshman Harris Smith, who's playing a very good second base. Harris Smith. Where's 16? And he is 0 for 1. That in the first. Oh, a nice pitch right there. Even the umpire liked to make that call. You like them when they're definitive. I know that that's Charlie Hill down the first baseline. Not familiar with this gentleman behind the plate. Ooh, another breaking ball. You've got to be ready for that breaking ball on Carter Ellis because he's going to throw it. He'll throw it about three different ways. I don't think he throws it from 12 o'clock, but you judge it, and we'll tell you more about that in a minute. Breaking ball popped up. It's in a troublesome spot. And third baseman, Zach Creasy, it's actually the hardest catch on him, takes charge and makes it. So two out, but you can come from 12 o'clock is straight overhanded, and it's going to drop more than it curves. 11 o'clock, it's going to curve and drop. 10 o'clock, it'll curve and drop. When you drop down to 9 o'clock on the clock throwing, that's sidearm, and it's going to break, but it's going to be kind of a flat break. Two outs in the inning. Then there's the breaking ball again to Andrew Perry. Andrew will be going to Belmont, a fine institution of higher learning. Played pretty good sports there, too. That pitch, they say the count is one and one now. One ball, one strike, two outs. Nobody on. Carter Ellis on the mound, the senior. Working to Andrew Perry. And there it is again. He's thrown a ton of breaking balls. We know he's thrown uh, unofficially it's 51 pitches. I'll get you an exact count in a moment. It's 52 is actually right. Missing, that was a temptation pitch. But the temptations are a singing group. Good eye by the hitter, Andrew Perry. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Got him. Well, I may have missed that when the umpire says no, and the man in blue is always right. It's kind of like the old Texaco commercial. You can trust your car to the man that wears the star. Trust your pitches to the guy that's calling them at home plate because he's right no matter what. 3-2, two, two outs. Andrew Perry up there, the senior. Slow roller on the big hop. Here comes Zach Creasy. Crow hop. Guns one over the first for the third out. No runs, no hits, no errors, no one left on base. At the end of three and one-half innings of play, it's Jackson Christian 2, TCA 1. Let's take a timeout on the Jackson Christian Ball Game Blitz Network. We are a team, a team composed of highly skilled physical therapists with new school treatment approaches and old school customer service principles. We are a community presence because we know our foundation rests in relationship building and involvement. We are leaders in this industry and we're putting in time daily to develop that aspect of thinking. We're more than a business. We're a team composed of individuals governed by a set of core values. We're more than a physical therapy company. We're a movement in the profession. We are your premier physical therapy team in West Tennessee. Your life. Your home. Your business. Your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. 
West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. And a great rendition of Take Me Out to the Ball Game. I would sing it, but my choir director tells me to lip sync at church. So I don't sing at church or here, but a great song. Uh, good time here at TCA. Daniel Green, the big first baseman, who is capable of launching one, will lead it off for Jackson Christian in the bottom of the fourth. This game moving at a much quicker pace, but there was a lot now of rain batting number 16, and a lot of other Daniel things. Green happening and I tell you what Vance has pitched a very good ball game he trails only by one run Green steps in there Green flied out his last time up there's a pitch high and sometimes when you're watching these things I think Vance has got 52 pitches now he may only have 51 both pitchers in the same era area Here's a ball, for, and that was 52 right there, so we're right on with it. Green 0 for 1. Likes to play that football, too. Fouls this one off. A little late on his swing. He didn't get his arms extended. Big men want to get those arms extended and out over the plate. Outfield a little deep. A couple of steps shading in center field to left field. That one a little low. A couple of fans probably thought it was a strike. It was close, but no cigar. Good picture of Green there. Our camera crew, wonderful cameras here. Great placement. Worthy Road uses multiple cameras. Green, it's up in the air. It could be, but it's going to fall short a long way. That one got up and then died out there. And a great catch by the left fielder, Quarles. I thought it might now take off and go. Now number one, Austin Kelly. First out in the inning, junior Austin Kelly, who pitched the first part of that game, the rain delay. Obviously, you don't come back. You tighten up. You could pull a muscle. You could do worse than that. Kelly in this game is 0 for 1. This one to right field. Right fielder drawing a beat on it. It's going to hang up in the air. And a nice pay, uh, pitch by the pitcher. Catch by Perry in right field. And there's two outs in the inning. Now batting number 11, Jack. Collins. Jack Collins comes up. It was a strikeout victim his last time up. 57 pitches by Vance. Collins wants time out to get settled in the batter's box. Kind of gets in tight on the batter's box. He'll have to extend those arms on an inside pitch. He did, but he didn't get enough of it. And the young freshman Smith over to first with two steps to go. Four to three. And there are no runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. At the end of four innings of play, Jackson Christian 2, TCA 1. Let's take a timeout on the Jackson Christian Ball Game Blitz Facebook page. Believe in family. Believe in your fellow man. Believe in daddy-daughter dances, home-cooked meals, and bedtime stories. Believe in honesty and an honest day's work. Believe that love and faith make the world a better place. We do, because we believe in you. We're Farm Bureau Insurance, and we don't just believe in Tennessee. We believe in Tennesseans. Farm Bureau Insurance, Tennessee's insurance company. Call Farm Bureau agent Travis Vance at 731-661-0102 or see him at 285 North Parkway in Jackson. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. You know, home buying can be a long and confusing process, especially in today's market. While our Home Sweet Home Loan program offers incredibly competitive rates and allows you to keep your loan local throughout the entire life of the loan. So start your financial conversation with us today by visiting foundationbank.org or calling us on the number on the screen. In the meantime, go Lions! McKenzie Banking Company and Foundation Bank are an equal housing lender and member FDIC. We are back here in a very exciting contest, a real white knuckler, 2-1 Jackson Christian leads. We're at TCA. Mind you again, some of our silver sponsors, Kenny Sutherland, Five Star Realty, Great American Sports, Southern Capital now Advisors, batting number David 17, White, Body Connor Shop. Connor Quarles. Connor Quarles to lead it off. Brooks will follow. And then Zane Atwood. We're in the top of the fifth. Let's see if we can get it back. Get our pitch count up there. An excuse me swing. 
Reed Cooper will have to hurry. He feels it, zips it over to first for the first out in the inning. And trust me, Connor Quarles did not want that to happen, but sometimes it does when you hold up. One out in the inning brings up John now batting Brooks. Number eight, John catcher. Brooks. Brooks 0 for 1 in the contest. He's caught both games and has to be a tired young man. I'm going to expect his parents to really get him big steak or do something nice for the young man. This pitch low, good eye. At one time, John played, and I will give the parents credit, I found out he had played for Barlow, and we know what a good coach he was from his days at Lambeth and at Sacred Heart. Two balls, no strikes. Carter kind of threw himself out from under his hat then. So Brooks with a two ball, no strike count. He just wants to get on to help his team. Everybody straight away. Normal depth in the infield. Fouled off, and that infield is green. And, of course, Reed Cooper. Austin Kelly's at short. Zach Creasy at third. The outfield of Mullins, Jones, and Collins. Sounds like a law firm out there. Two balls, one strike pitch. It's high. 59 pitches by Carter Ellis. Swinging strike two to keep this at bat going. Brooks wants to get on by walk, hit, error. However, he just wants to help his team. They'll probably be a courtesy runner for him. He is the catcher. Hit out in the outfield. Let's see who's going to call it. Easton Jones calls him off. And diving catch, and he got it. Easton Jones will never surprise you. Just ask that defensive back at Trenton Peabody last year. He smoked him, and so did Trent Carrier. So there are two outs in the inning, and that one looked like it was about to get down. Now batting number two, Zane Atwood. Zane Atwood, who was on base back in the third, made it all the way to third base. He's a junior. Nice pitch there. Umpire took a little longer to call it, but he was right. It was a strike. See a pick. See the first base coach, the umpire, and the pitcher. Great camera work, third and first base cameras. Just missing. Umpire measured it. He said it was a millimicron off. Good crowd behind home plate. Swing and a strike. Got to guard the plate now for Zane Atwood, the ninth hitter now. If he goes down in the top of the six, you'll have the top of the TCA order. The one-two pitch on the way. Tied his hands up. It's a strikeout. No runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on base. And at the end of four and one-half innings of play, Jackson Christian leads two to one over TCA. Let's take that time out. Walker Wealth Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Walker Wealth Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. They are experienced in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Walker Wealth Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. Legends never die, but your AC unit might. Routine maintenance and repair by McCoy's Heating and Air now will keep your system running at full capacity and potentially avoid costlier repairs and downtime when you need your AC the most. Our York certified and trained technicians are the best in the game. Go home to comfort with spring maintenance from McCoy's Heating and Air. And we are back for the bottom of the fifth. You see Coach, uh, Coach McLean waiting to go across. And, uh, you know, I don't want to leave our other coaches out. But our complete coaching staff, Chase McLean, head coach, Todd Lumley, first base coach, Brian Bullard, the dugout coach, also a great assistant in practice and stuff, Carter Holt, 
and Colin Cantrell helping our strength and conditioning coaches, Alan Irvin, athletic trainer, Brett Netterville, and of course, Dynamics helping us out there. Some of our gold sponsors are Carlock Nissan, no Aloha 14, Pools, Jones Eli Chevrolet, Smith. the Blacksmith Restaurant, Dynamics Physical Therapy, Humboldt Chrysler, Dodge Jeep Ram, Elite Dental, Bank of Jackson and McCoy's Heating and Air, Deaton's Carpet One, and stepping in to to hit looks like the catcher himself, Eli Smith. Eli's coming, as they say, on Three Dog Night fouls that first pitch off. In that first game, Eli was one for three and uh, had an RBI. And here's the pitch. And we know that Vance had, uh, not counting the last two pitches, had thrown 58 pitches, and 32 of them were strikes. He's now in a good pitch, one and one. One. Uh, there's no outs in the inning, two and one actually. Let's keep it straight, Coach. Bouncing ball back to the pitcher. It'll be easy for him to handle. He'll go one, two, three. You always take it and carry it part of the way over there, make the small toss. One out in the inning, brings the top of the order, Reed Cooper up there. Now batting number five, Reed Cooper. Reed, a sure-gloved second baseman. Was on with the error and scored in that first inning. He's 0 for 2. There's a strike. Vance pitching quite well. He's thrown a lot of strikes in this ball game. Coming into this inning, he had faced 17. He's now faced 18 batters. That pitch a little outside. Now, Bob Euchre would have said just a little bit outside. Open stance. He'll stride towards the pitcher as it comes. And the pitcher's going to handle two in this inning. It'll be one to three for the second out. And J.T. Mullins will take his time getting to the plate. He'll toss the bat off. Get now batting number seven, in. J.T. Mullins. J.T. played a fine outfield so far. He has scored a run. His was the go-ahead run. He is 0 for 2, though, officially. Or one for two. Let me get things right. Had a single back in the first. Here's the pitch. Good breaking ball, but as they said, it was low. Wow. Okay. Again, I'm up high. The umpire is flat. He's got a much better look to the third baseman. He took it right before it got to the little hop, and it goes 5-3, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down. No runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on base. And at the end of five full innings of play, Jackson Christian leads in a white knuckler, two to one over TCA. Let's take a timeout on the Jackson Christian Ball Game Blitz Network. The bonus cash extravaganza is underway right now at Carlock Nissan in Jackson. In addition to dealer discounts, get another 750 bonus cash on Nissan Sentra, another 750 bonus cash on Nissan Altima, an additional $1,000 bonus cash on Nissan Pathfinder, and 1250 on Nissan Frontier. Plus, rates as low as 0% and 3.9 for 84 months. The bonus cash extravaganza underway right now at Carlock Nissan. Van Drive, Jackson. Why go on vacation when you can live on vacation? Aloha Custom Pools will help you create your very own piece of paradise and you can enjoy it every day. What are you waiting for? Take the plunge. Call Aloha Custom Pools or visit us online. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Off the top of the six, number one, Owen Atwood. Back for the top of the six, Owen Atwood, the top of the order, Jones and Vance to follow. So the heart of the order, and you, uh, Carter Ellis, who's thrown 66 pitches, 37 of them for strikes. He's faced 18 batters, I believe, and a swinging strike. And sometimes in the moisture and the things like that, the bat will come out of your hands. That's the reason you stay awake at baseball games, even with the screens. Baseballs and bats have a way of flying through the air and not the bats that uh, vampires like and stuff like that. These are 
metal weapons. But they can hit the ball a long way. Sweet spot a little different than on a wooden bat. And that one bounces away. And I love the way the young men from each team, when their team is batting, try to help out, get the balls that get away, keep the playing surface where there's no controversy. Fouled off for strike two. One ball, two strikes. We'll remind you this is a copyright broadcast of Worthy Road Studios for 2024. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, editing, or further use of this ball game blitz broadcast without the express written consent of Worthy Road Studios is prohibited. And that one fouled off, that hurts, folks. Even though if it just nicks you a little bit, you've got to walk it off. And uh, sometimes uh, this one it walked off pretty quick. Sometimes the umpire will find a way to stall the game a little bit and let you walk it off a little more, which is nice of the umpiring. One ball, two strikes. Ellis, here's his pitch. Swinging strike three. Actually, it was tipped and caught. And that is the fourth strikeout by Ellis. And that is a big out because the number two man in the hitting order, Nick Jones, the senior, will be coming up there wearing number seven. Nick will be followed by the pitcher, Harrison Vance. Nick is 0 for 2 in this contest. Fouled off in the first game. Nick was 0 for 2, but he did score a run. Matter of fact, the only run of the game for TCA. But Harrison Vance coming up next, and he's a good hitter and has shown he's a good pitcher. Just missing. The umpire shook it off. That's one and one, and I was even holding my breath up here. Two people almost passed out from holding their breath because you really didn't know till the umpire got it. Swinging strike. Lots of people get hit. Good old protective equipment for the young men that catch. And I guarantee you there are two mothers that would wish there was more protective equipment on the catchers. But, hey, they're tough young men. One ball, two strikes, one out. The hitter, Nick Jones. Swinging strike. And that's the fifth strikeout unofficially for Carter Ellis. And now the dangerous Harrison Vance, who's strong enough to tie this now game up with six. one Harrison string. Vance. Swing, it is. He's a senior. He's pitching. Max Richardson, the sophomore cleanup hitter on deck. Open stance, you see that great picture by our camera crew. It's hit on the ground. It's a base hit. Told you this young man can hit. He gets a single. And they'll get a courtesy runner, I would assume. And here comes the courtesy runner. They're even possibly going to use the same headgear. Let's see if we can get a number. Now batting number five, Max Richardson. Max Richardson up there, and uh, that is my fault. I let the young man at first get by me without a good look. 23, thank you, gentlemen. That's C.J. Lewis. Nice curveball, but it missed. C.J. played in the first game. I believe he plays a little football here at TCA, too. Fine young man. I believe he's Kendall Larry Lewis, the fine official. And I believe Larry's teaching a little science here at TCA. Whoa, a snag in the air by Zach Creasy. Gets the inning over. And Zach just jumped up there. Remember, he's an ex-basketball player. So no runs, one hit, one left. And at the end of five and a half innings of play, Jackson Christian holding on to that two-to-one lead. Let's take a timeout on the ball game Blitz and Jackson Christian Network. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender.
Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Now batting number 22. We are back here. Easton Jones. Going into the bottom of the six, Easton Jones, who's made a couple of fine catches out in the outfield tonight. He wears 22. He's a junior, also a football player. Easton fouls that one off. And he got hit by a pitch his last time up there. He's 0 for 1 officially. He likes that open stance to his heel just on where the chalk line would be if it were there. Nice tempting pitch, but it was outside. Two balls, or actually one ball, one strike, no outs. Jackson Christian leading two to one. Popped up and foul. It'll get out of play, so it's going to be one ball and two strikes. You got to either choke up or you got to guard that plate if you want to stay down on the end of the bat. A lot of these young men use kind of an uppercut to swing, and sometimes you just get under the ball a little too much. Here's the one-two pitch. Catcher tried to help it out. The umpire wasn't going to buy it. It was a good move. Wished I was still that quick. Two and two, no outs. Jones swinging strike three. I think he took a little off of it, he being Vance. That's his third strikeout. I'll go ahead and tell you now, that was the first hit by TCA last inning by Harrison Vance. Now batting number 21, Carson Holt. I, I am superstitious and will never mention a no-hitter. And uh, I p pitch. I didn't pitch any no-hitters but because everybody jinxed me early. Oh, he got through with no hits. There's a strike. Good pitch by Vance. Carson Holt, who had a big home run. He's 0 for 1 in this contest. He walked his other time at bat. That one high and inside, it hit him. They say, I thought it might have been one of those that uh, kind of rubbed your jersey. They had some in the major leagues when they were everybody was wearing black shoes in major league that you could see the uh, shoe polish come off on it. But if you hit somebody in the foot here, and that one didn't hit him in the foot, you're not going to tell because it's going to be white shoe polish. Head coach out quickly for TCA to talk about that one. And, and again, Nice dialogue there, the way it ought to be. Umpire explains, coach questions, they talk about it. And uh, Chase McLean's going to put a pinch runner in. And you're allowed one re-entry. I thought he was going to the man, maybe already over there. Because I was watching the coaches love to see what coaches Now batting number 24, Zach Creasy. And you heard our public address announcer does such a great job announced Zach Creasy, our third baseman, just a junior. Runner at first. Creasy pops it up. Will it stay in play? Let's see. First baseman gives chase, and it looks like it goes out of bounds. you got a little more room here at TCA to catch some foul balls than you do at our house. Missing the friendly confines of Mural Haas. That's where there will be no game at Mural Haas tomorrow because it's probably going to be one to two inches of rain tomorrow. Zach Creasy up there with a no ball, one strike count, a runner at first. As make that a no ball, two strike. Dandy pitch by Harrison Vance. Now Creasy's got to guard the plate. He's 0 for 2 tonight. Vance gives it two head bobs and a swinging strike three. Now batting number 16. I believe that is Daniel his fourth Green. strikeout, he being Vance. Harrison Vance, and here comes the big man, Daniel Green. He is 0 for 2, but he has flied out both times. The last one died out in the outfield, and not sure why it looked like when it left the bat it might do something. This one is going to be popped up. Don't hit that cloud up there and bring rain. It's out of play. So it's 0 and 1. Green a little behind that one. It had some, it was some form of a breaking ball. It looked more like a slider that time. Just didn't break as quick as a slider. But anyway, it's 0-1 with two outs and a runner on first. Runner will be taking off when the bat makes contact with the ball. Out of the stretch is Harrison Vance. The 79th pitch. They're running. It's a nice throw through. Did he get under? They say the tag was there in time. 
So the runner is out for the third out, caught stealing, and there was no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We'll be going to the top of the seventh after this great timeout by the Jackson Christian Facebook and the Ball Game Blitz. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. It's the off season, but it's the best season to buy at Aloha Custom Pools. Snag your dream pool now, and we promise you'll be splashing around by Memorial Day. What are you waiting for? Give us a call or visit us at AlohaCustomPools.com. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. And we are back here, and the song playing reminds me, at 9.40 every Saturday, the UT Insider Starla Hembry is on the Saturday Sports Roundup. But here we've got Worthy Road Studios, Ball Game Blitz, Baseball Top of the 7th TCA. We'll send Harris Smith, the young freshman, second baseman up there. Pops one foul. He'll be followed by Andrew Perry and Harris by Connor Smith. Quarles. It quarrels, and they need to manufacture a run to keep this game going. Two to take the lead. Jackson Christian will bat in the bottom of the seventh if necessary. It's a white knuckler. Now, if we had a football game, but we hadn't had any real slobber knocker stuff like you do in a football game. So this is a white knuckler. Here's the pitch. It broke a little early and outside, or it would be 0-2. It's 1-1. One one. Proper call by the umpire. Smith would love to get on today. And they say it nicked him. And that's how you get in trouble is nicking people. Smith was 0 for 2. And that's going to bring now up number, number 13, 13 Andrew, Andrew Perry. Perry. He's a senior. And that's what you would want at the plate at this point. A young man that's going to further his education and career at Belmont University. And they're going to play or at least show some small ball there. That's called bunting to get the runner in scoring position. There are no outs in the inning. Jackson Christian smells something through over to first. Infield not really at double play depth. They are at bunt defense. It's outside and second baseman was covering. They could have gone down there. Unfortunately, you got to throw strikes here. One ball, no strikes. Sometimes the rising fastball is tougher to bunt than a low pitch. Let's see what Carter Ellis throws. He's got five Ks. He gets away in the runner advance and now he can hit away and Creasy has to streak back to second. So a runner definitely in scoring position with no outs. Perry with a two ball, no strike count will be able to hit away. And you'll see Chase McLean come from the dugout 83 pitches, and Carter may have, I don't know if somebody was warming up or they're just going to talk to him about release points and things like that. Coach trying to settle his senior pitcher down. Umpire says, we're going to have shorter breaks tonight. He starts out there. Guarantee you Chase had the corner of his eyeball out there on him. Andrew Perry has a 2-0 count. He has a runner in scoring position. Quarles and Brooks will come up after Perry. Let's see if Perry tries to bunt the runner over to third. Green is still in at first and he's showing bunt. Here comes the play. That is a strike, no doubt about it. I'm trying not to call them early, but this uh, camera work we've got here, I can see the pitch is really good tonight. 
Two ball, one strike pitch. Green could shake hands with Perry. It's hit to Green. Green will go to first with it. He does advance it. It's a sacrifice bunt. One out. Three to four on that one. But there is 90 feet away. Now that a number 17, run. Connor Quarles. With one out. Connor Quarles coming up there. He's 0 for 2. Don't know what kind of bunter he is, but the safety or suicide squeeze comes through my mind. They may let him hit away, but I don't know. Let's see. Open stance. Watch his footwork. He's hitting away. Swinging strike, and he was going for the downs on that one. He was going to take the lead if he makes contact. No balls. One strike. One out. A dangerous runner on third. Carter Ellis trying to finish this game. Fouled off 0-2. Do you see the – or yeah, it's 0-2. You almost think which curveball? Is it the 11, 10, or 9 o'clock curveball coming? Is it a waste pitch? Ellis has got his sign. They come from the dugout through the catcher. Here's the pitch. Ground ball – Got him. Now that will bring a lot of stuff from the stands. And the only advice I can give the young man, let your coach talk to the umpire. And the coach, you handle it. Don't, don't try to help the umpires out. Umpires sometimes get a little touchy about stuff like it. So, uh, and he wasn't ugly. He just... The umpire made the call. They say it's going to stand. It's a fielder's choice. Creasy shot now a cannon eight, shot. John Brooks. Smith. Brooks with two outs up there. John, a very capable hitter. He flied out to center his last time up there. And you you got to know these two catchers. Smith and Brooks have got to be tired, young men. Love them to death, though. That one's high, and Carter may be tiring just a little bit. That was his 88th pitch, I believe. That's unofficial. We'll check and see if it's 89 officially. No, it's 88. Runner at first, two out. Keep the ball in the infield is what they've told the Jackson Christian guys. Popped up. Will Green get a chance at it? Will it get out of play? It's going to get out of play, and nobody gets a snow cone or a contract because they didn't catch it clean. Oh, we don't have snow cones. Okay, you don't get the contract then. Got to catch it clean to get a contract. Maybe you can get some NIL money out of it. One ball, one strike, two outs, a runner at first. John Brooks, the young sophomore catcher up there, facing the senior curveballer, Carter Ellis. Here's the pitch. Strike two. Oh, now... John wants to either choke up on the bat or got to be quick whipping that thing around. Guard the plate. Some of the great hitters in Major League Baseball were good at fouling pitches off. Get the one you want, tattoo it. The one-two pitch on its way. Popped up. Let's see who takes charge. Daniel Green says, I got it just like I'll catch a pass for the third out. One runner left on base. And it is a final score of three to two, uh, three to two, two to one. Jackson Christian wins a white knuckler, a great contest. The two teams will show their sportsmanship. We're going to take a timeout and try to get us some final stats together. And now I can breathe again. What a great game. And fans from both teams, please tell these young men that they played wonderful. Uh, the mothers of the two catchers, please do something nice for your two young men. And uh, we'll give you the stats and stuff. But let's take a time out here on the Jackson Christian Ball Game Blitz Network. Hello, folks. This is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warrant on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flowing experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? 
At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. No matter where you are, You can shop 24-7 at HumboldodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. We are back after that exciting ball game brought to you by great people like Carlock Nissan, Aloha Pools, Jones Chevrolet, the Blacksmith Restaurant, Dynamics Physical Therapy, Humboldt Chrysler, Dodge Jeep, Ram, Elite Dental, Bank of Jackson, McCoy's Heating and Air, Deaton's Carpet One, and also we'll tell you about a few more sponsors in a moment, but we need to tell you this game uh, for Tr Trinity. Uh, they went to bat seven innings you don't bat if you're the winning team and you're the home team but one run one hit and two errors is their line score jackson christian line score was two runs one hit no errors uh, the only hit for trinity christian academy came from harrison vance the pitcher trying to help his own cause uh, vance through six innings he gave up one hit, two runs, walked two, struck out four, threw 79 pitches, 45 of them strikes, and faced 23 hitters. For Jackson Christian, they only had one hit. J.T. Mullins got that one early. Both teams scored the runs in the first inning. Jackson Christian in the bottom of the first with two runs. Owen Atwood scored the only run for TCA. Cooper and Mullins scored those two runs. Mullins scored the... Uh, go ahead and winning run it turned out to be uh, Jackson Christian we've given you their line score and the uh, Zach Creasy did get an RBI back in the first and um, Carter Ellis went seven innings gave up one hit one run it would, uh, was not earned according to the official stats two base on balls and he struck out five in one of his finest performances he threw 92 pitches, 55 strikes, faced 26 batters, and he is the winning pitcher. Some other people, and I want you to remember these two that helped bring you this game, and you do not have to pay the ridiculous fee of the uh, National Federation, are Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Realty, Great American Sports, Southern Capital Advisors, and David White Body Shop. Please support these people. And we will remind you that this is a copyright broadcast. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, further use of this contest without the express written consent of Worthy Road Studios. I want to thank the administrators, the coaches of both schools, Trinity Christian Academy and Jackson Christian. The press box crew up here is an outstanding group and uh, did a great job, just like Tommy McLean does a great job in our press box over at Jackson um, Christian, we are just about ready to um, take care of a couple of other things. And again, I'll remind you, support the people that bring you this game because if not, you'd be paying that. And it's got tax on it, the National Federation fee. Paul Schultze, our executive producer, is here. We're trying to break down right now. But you're fixing to see a great graphic. And I'm going to tell you what, you see any of these young men, um, Christopher Reasons, uh, one of our camera operators, Stephen Childers, executive producer, Paul Schultz. Uh, congratulate them. Tell them what a good job they do. I'm just happy to be here and part of it. I'm Coach Joe Holloway. I do the play-by-play -play for Jackson Christian. We had two fine games. Jackson Christian taking both of them tonight, 8-1 to one in the first, 2-1 to one in the second. A hard-playing TCA team that's going to do well in the, the tournament 
that's coming up when the two districts in double A get together. That's uh, actually the Division Two. This is single A. And when we play them, we'll be well represented. Right now, USJ kind of with the lead. And uh, they have beaten TCA and Jackson Christian. Jackson Christian in second virtue of these wins. Uh, probably TCA and Tipton Rosemark. Fayette Academy, though, keep an eye on those young men. Again, thank these people. And we want to say for you, remember, it's a copyright broadcast. And we're going to say the famous words. Thanks for your time. This time, till next time. Good night, all. The award-winning Ball Game Blitz Sports Network from Worthy Road Studios. Over 750,000 views in 2023. We're where you need to advertise. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and join over 4,500 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union University, Bethel, USJ, TCA, Jackson Christian, Sacred Heart, and Peabody. Multi-camera broadcasts, slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to our sponsors who make it all possible. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network from Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee.